Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're reviewing 1792 Foolproof. So just recently I did a video talking about my favorites from the 1792 lineup. I went to a tasting where we tried their whole lineup as well as a few rare ones that are really hard to find. And the only one that I really fell in love with that was available to purchase that night was the 1792 Bottle and Bond. As you can tell, I just killed this bottle. I actually poured a little bit to taste alongside the new Foolproof. Um, so I have a little bit of that here with me. Um, but yeah, this is actually a store pick from K&L Wine and Spirits, um, which is a local liquor store near me in Hollywood. And this is actually from barrel number 3087. Not sure what that means to anyone, but I want to list, list it off because they've had a few different single barrels at this store. It is foolproof. Now, I recently learned that foolproof doesn't necessarily mean cast strength. And what they do is they bottle all of their foolproof releases, even their store picks, at 62.5% alcohol or 125 proof. That's mainly for consistency so they don't have to change the bottle or the label or anything like that. But at the same time, it's still really up there. A lot of cast strength whiskeys aren't even that high proof. So I'm not faulting for them for that. Weller's doing the same thing with their new Weller full proof. I'm gonna take a sip of the bottle and bond first. Like I said, this was my favorite for the longest time. Just to kind of set my palette for this and see what stands out as better or maybe not as good in the full proof. So let's go ahead and give it a try. You hear the note Bananas Foster a lot on bourbon. There is not a more Bananas Foster bourbon than this one. This one is so desserty. So it has that banana, kind of like an artificial banana taste. It's not overwhelming though, like something like Jack Daniels is to me personally. It's really blends really well with the bready, thick, sugary, desserty qualities that I really love about bourbon. So that was the 1792 Bottle and Bond. I, I just want to set my palate with that. Sad I'm finishing the Bottle and Bond, but so excited to get into this guy. So I would say graham cracker or some kind of like pie crust. I, I get that really heavy on the nose um, with a little bit of the banana back there, but there's a lot more of the desserty bready quality that is one of my favorite things about this whiskey. So I'm really excited to try the full proof and see if the extra proof really does help. So cheers. Ooh, it does drink hot. You gotta prepare yourself for that. Thank God I, I sipped on that one a little bit. But so this foolproof pick was only fifty dollars. Regular foolproof, I think, is like forty-five um, when it's not a pick. Um, this bottle and bond was like thirty-five, so it's only like ten, fifteen dollars more. It's not drastically different, even though this is a single barrel store pick. It takes the qualities that are really good about the bottle and bond and their other releases and really focuses on a certain note. So this one, I read the description on the website and what they described this barrel as. They say it's a sweeter, rounder profile. Um, and then someone else said it's um, has a nose of sweet corn and spicy rye. It has like a cool mint and touch of dill um, on the, I guess they're talking about the, yeah, they're talking about the nose still. So they get a little bit of dill and mint. I guess it is a high rye bourbon. So I could see where they're coming from that. You do get a lot of the rye spice. I've kind of I get those notes. You guys know in my reviews, I get those notes all the time with uh, rye. I always get like a minty note. So totally get where they're coming from with that. Honestly, I said in my last video, the Bottle and Bomb was the best one that I could buy that night, but the Foolproof won hands down. It was my absolute favorite in their lineup. So when I saw a store pick of the Foolproof pop up, I had to pick it up. And I am so not disappointed that I did. This is one of the most affordable, not quite cast strength, but foolproof whiskeys in the game. It's only $50 in my area. It's maybe more in your area, but for $10 to $20 less than a Booker's or a um, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, which are my favorites, this is really unique. I don't say I would prefer it over those, but that's just my personal palette. But it's unique and it's different enough. So if you may not like those, you may not like those big, bold, oaky flavors and you like more of a desserty, almost like a Bananas Foster note, give this a try. Because if that's that's your thing, a lot of people could gravitate toward this, and I can see this being a lot of people's favorite foolproof whiskey. So this definitely gets a recommendation from me. What do you guys think of the 1792 Distillery? I know it's kind of like one of those outliers that a lot of people don't think about. Some people really love it. Some people are kind of meh about it. I'm really growing on it, and I like their foolproof offerings, and I think the store picks are even better. If you like this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, and if you're new here, welcome. I do live streams almost every Thursday night, so... Check those out. I like to talk to you guys and review things. And occasionally I'll put out one of these little produced videos just when I get excited about something. And 1792 Foolproof is definitely something to get excited about. So I'll see you guys next video. And until then, 
I'm here to help you drink good whiskey. Cheers. Mm-hmm.